Hey, this is Dan with Puts Ponds and Gardens. You're watching our YouTube channel, Puts Ponds. Automatic water fill valves. That's what we're going to talk about today. I like them, and you know what? I hate them. I like them for their convenience. If someone goes on vacation, they turn on the water fill valve, any evaporation, it will be replenished by the automatic water fill valve. Why do I hate them? I hate them because they fail. And when they fail, they get stuck on. When they get stuck on, water tends to go where it wants to. And it'll flood areas, it could flood a backyard. Today we're going to a commercial application that we have an automatic water fill valve. And you guessed it, it failed. So we're gonna upgrade to a new water fill valve that I, I personally like them. Um, haven't had one fail yet. It's the Aquascape Compact water fill valve. You can actually see the water coming out of it. You can tell when it's on and when it's off. So on our routine visits, when we're actually inspecting the pond for our clients, we can see whether or not it's it's working. And that's a, that's a big bonus. When you can see water coming out of it, um, that's a big bonus. Why? Because when you can't see the water coming out of it on some valves, um, you don't know whether it's on or not. So let's go over to this job. I wanna show you what we've got going on. All right, so as you can see, they've got the Hudson Auto Fill Valve. And one of the problems with these auto fill valves is they won't shut off no matter what. They get little particles trapped inside them and then they just, they overflow and then it floods out the area. That's not something that we want in a backyard or in a commercial setting. So we're gonna change it up and we're gonna go to the uh, Aquascape Compact Water Fill Valve. It looks like a little miniature toilet valve. We use the same supply line. It's, um, it's a float that you can actually see when the water's coming out and when it's actually shut off itself. So let's get going. All right, so these are a couple of the parts, connections that we're gonna use. They come with multiple connections in the box. You can either go from PVC, hard PVC and glue it and then put in your adapter. We're using quarter inch um, poly pipe to feed the, uh, the auto fill valve. And what you would do is you would use some pipe thread sealant around the threads here, and then either screw it into this one, or you can screw it into this one here. And then there's so many different connections you can do um, to a uh, sprinkler connection, with a couple different um, pieces that come with it and screw it right to your threaded fitting here go to your quarter or three quarter inch line so there's multiple connections that you can do but you're only going to need one connection you just have to find out what the best is for you so here what we'll do is first we we put the auto fill valve together and let's see, bear with me. I'm trying to get all this on camera while I'm putting it together. So you've got the float right here. So I'm putting the auto fill valve together. So what you want to do is find the small O-ring side on this side and then on here. And then you'll slip your nut, uh, lock nut right in the one side. And then your adjustment uh, screw right here on the other side. A small little wing nut that you fit in here. So now this can float up and down and then the water actually will come out here. So you've got a, a set nut on the back and then a washer here. And then what you wanna do is you wanna find out where your water level is. You wanna set this approximately one inch above your water level. And then you'll, you'll drill a three quarter inch hole in the back side of the skimmer. So once you've got the three quarter inch hole, you wanna put your washer on here Water always, or washers always go on the water side, so inside the skimmer. Once you push it through, then you'll put your uh, jam nut on there, and you'll, you'll drop it and lose it. So you put your jam nut on here, and then tighten that down. 
from there, then you'll make sure you put some thread sealant on your threads of your autofill valve. Then you'll thread on your connection. Once your connection is on, then you put uh, your adapter piece in and then push the supply line right in and it's watertight. Let me get going putting that in and then I will, uh, I'll go back to show you how it actually works. Now, since we have so many different things that are inside a skimmer, you've got a, a rigid basket, you've got your check valve, you've got your weir door. The location of your, of your autofill valve is critical. You wanna make sure that it can float up and down while it's inside your skimmer and have nothing be in the way of the operation of that. As you can see, the water level is very low right now. That's why it's, the skimmer is actually making a lot of noise. So when everything's in here, we want to make sure that our float valve can operate. So we're going to go to the back side of the skimmer right here, above water level. Like I said, approximately one inch above water level we want to go. So that way we can make, an, make our adjustments up or down. Plus we want this to be able to float in here as the water level evaporates. We want um, the valve to be able to open or close. You don't want to install your float valve on the side here because it will end up hitting the side of the basket and it will be stuck on all the time. Okay, so we've got our auto fill valve hooked up. All the connections are in the back. This is a quick connector, it's just a push in. It's all, it's got its thread sealing on here and there are no leaks. So what we wanna do is we wanna test the, uh, the valve itself. And by doing that, it's gonna take several hours for this to fill up. But we lift up on this and the water should stop. So as the water rises inside the skimmer area here, replenishes the system, it'll lift up the valve and we're gonna be at a perfect water level. So those are our tips for today. So those are our tips for today. If you've got an auto fill valve that's just being stuck open, we recommend that uh, compact automatic water fill valve from Aquascapes. We'll put a link in our description below. Thanks for watching. 